Lord of Wings here, coming back at you with this part 12 of our Ghost of Tsushima playthrough series. Kind of check back in with what we did last time. Uh, pretty much got behind enemy lines, poisoned the Mongols, kind of pissed off the Shogun, and uh, good old Uncle Shimura. So Kenji has broken and is now giving us the opportunity to break out of this encampment here. Uh, the only difference is this time it's not a Mongol encampment. It's going to be the Shogun and all the samurai that have come to support us in fighting back the Mongols. Uh, so you could easily, when you're working through this, you can just use your ghost sense, clicking in. Um, and it's going to highlight all your enemies here and it's going to make it really easy to navigate. I personally feel that takes away from the element of the game. I mean, that's not real life. You can't really just, like, see through walls and see what's going on. So I'm going to try my best to work, sorry, work through all this, not using the ghost sense, and hopefully not embarrass myself in the process. We always got time to grab supplies. So outside of those guys, kind of in the middle of that fire off to our side here, I think we're good on that side at least. In terms of this side, I'm not seeing much either. We're just gonna shimmy shimmy through this hole real quick. Looks like we have multiple paths. It kind of looks like it wants us to direct us to the right, but it looks like you'd have a completely wide open ground over there, and you'd have to run across the street with no cover. Not only that's really conducive for what we're doing. This, on the other hand, has this flower, kind of gives us up. Granted, these guys are right here, but they're not looking at us. And then, I mean, my goal, if you haven't already noticed, is keep high ground. Anyone seen him? He may have run north. You two, on your horses. The rest of you, man the gate! Good yep, just like the last episode, you have no honor. Haters. Alright, well maybe you could have honestly attacked this any direction if you've gotten through. I guess they were going to clear out. The patrol on the street either way with that kind of sequence there. Let me on the horse. Easy. There we go. There he is. On the horse. Stop it. Sorry, I couldn't protect you.
R.I.P. Nobu. Almost want to hate Jin for forcing the horse to his death pretty much there with Ryan now, but kind of the natural evil that's going to allow us to do what we got to do. On another point, though, your horse dynasty game is easily a top three death. Still a chance Yuna's alive. Kenji said Yuna was at the sacred tree. No weapons. I'll have to stay hidden. Looks like we're going to keep the trend going, staying stealthy. We have no weapons, no tools, no nothing, so. For the most part, I would have to imagine that a lot of these guys hold them post, uh, will remain at their post, and then you'll probably, similar to just like any other encampment we've rolled up on, uh, you'll have some roaming NPCs to worry about. And then uh, learn how they roam. Follow them, if anything, and then go from there. So it looks like we got one. Here, he's going to come up on the side. Question does he... No, he doesn't turn. All right. We'll take this opportunity to kind of get an idea of where our best route is. I feel like there's absolutely, yeah, this is <laughs> another prime example of how you get directed towards uh, dead ends. Because there's no way we're running across the water or even across this little field here without being spotted by any of these guys. But now that we do have this other guard roaming and he's out of this direction, Probably what it is, we'll go off to the side here and work our way around. This guy's facing the opposite way, so we don't have to worry about him. And he's not roaming, so like I said, I think most of these guys will hold their post. I don't think there's any opening into that house. I think our best bet's going to be as this brute walks by. Uh, we work around him. Is he gonna move though? Oh. oh, he started moving right as we did. That could have been really bad. Alright, see ya. We got this guy watching guard, and then he's too high up to see us, so we'll just cling to the side of this rock and we should be all right. Yeah, he's not gonna see us. Villagers. What killed them? 
I don't know, Jen. Take a guess. Uh, she's clutching at her throat with foam out of her mouth, and he barfed up blood. I'm gonna guess probable poison. Sounds like wolfsbane. The Mongols learned how to make my poison. Now they're using it against us. My back. Me. I can lose them in the storm. <laughs> the Mongolian just blood. echoing through as you're retching out blood. What a way to go. Yuna? Is that you? I wasn't sure you'd wake up. I thought I wouldn't. The Mongols used my own poison on me. How did they get it? I don't know. But they learned how to make it themselves. They must have tested it on the people of Kin. Before they burned the town, I saw families lying in pools of blood. There's only one way to end this. Kill Kotun Khan. He's taken his army to a stronghold on the coast, Port Izmi. We will need a staging camp somewhere close. I'll see what I can find. Your equipment's in that chest. Meet me by the lookout tower when you're ready. Remember in the beginning when I told you guys that Yuna was the real MVP? Yeah. Don't sleep on Yuna. Now to find Yuna. I mean, equally, if not more valuable than Jin. Yuna wasn't there. I mean, Jin's dead. In at least two different scenarios already. Definitely want to go ahead and take advantage of this opportunity to uh, restock and resupply. I think there's two little buildings here we can loot, but I'm probably just going to keep it to this one. That's a pretty bountiful house right there. I think I found a better hideout. Hey, Yuna, look what I can do. Look what I can do. Oh, regret that one real quick. A hideout. Somewhere by the mountain. Jogoka's pagoda. Sheltered, defensible. And in striking distance of the Khan's stronghold. There's only one problem. The Mongols have it. We can fix that. Let's get the horses. What happened to your mount? When I escaped, some guards fired on us. They killed Nobu. I'm sorry. These will have to do for now. Oh, shit. I almost missed these banners here. Uh, so make sure you don't run between the two horses here in these stalls. Are those people from King? Oh, hate to turn around, but I'm pretty sure this. Yeah, artifact. Nothing you can grab right outside the entrance. I couldn't let them take you. 
My uncle needed someone to blame. And I was his first choice. He was trying to protect me, and to fulfill his duty to the Shogun. I surrendered so you could escape north and pick up the Khan's trail. Shimura's a fool for turning against you. He wanted me to be his son. I destroyed his dream. By doing the right thing. Being right doesn't always make things better. Tell that to the people you saved. If we kill the Khan and drive the Mongols out, is there a chance your uncle will forgive you? When I was young, Lord Shimura became my father, my sensei, my entire world. I never wanted to disappoint him. I have to hope we can heal this wound. Whatever happens, his forgiveness won't change who I am. He thinks I corrupted you. I made my own choices. Even knowing what they've cost me, I'd make them again. Even if the Shogun brands me as a traitor. Yeah, we really did mess up, didn't we? Got some uh, pretty large feats to overcome here. That's right, though. We're close to Jokoku Temple. There's a fishing camp on the lake. We could scout the temple grounds from it. Leave the horses here. We'll go in on foot. Hey. Probably would help if I went the right way. I'm back. The woods here are thick. Good cover. For us and the Mongols. The safest approach to the temple might be over open ground. Or frozen lake. They are prisoners. They'll freeze to death. We'll free them. Clear the fishing village. Then we take the temple. A signal cannon. To alert the temple of an attack. Alright, looks like we got some homies to save in the fishing camp and the building over to our left. I really hope this guy doesn't see me. That's great, because he had armor on his head. As well as a helmet. That would end up badly. Okay, this is a hostage situation, so if we do alert any of them, it's going to immediately signal that uh, kind of execute mechanic they have, where they'll immediately be alerted, they'll have a skull and crossbones above their head, and they're going to run to the hostages. Looks like similar to what we just had in the last situation, we got a roaming NPC. Alright, sorry about that. I had a kid asking for food there. Uh, but, like I was saying before, you got a Roman uh, NPC. The rest of these guys are going to mainly hold a post or at least a certain area. Obviously, we want to take out the archer first and foremost. Looks like we got one with his back to us and one facing. I really don't do anything here, so... Lucky enough, this guy's got his back to us. We'll take him out and then... Since these guys on the dock are roaming, maybe we'll... Oh, yeah, okay, so they are roaming. So what we'll do is this guy... Oh, wait. All right, that did not go as planned at all, but it's going to end the same either way. Mm. I kind of want to keep this like a nice stealthy approach. Even though we are good. I think we got the roaming. Didn't see anything, dude. Sit down. Move! For a moment here. All right, there we go. He sees us. Hello. Goodbye. Hmm. 
I believe we just have those two guys. Yep, right here still. Why not? Bop, bop. He doesn't know what's going on. He's confused. Hey, man, what's up? Bop, bop. Alright, assuming we don't have any sleeping Mongols in these tents, or they're somewhere else around. Cam's cleared. Let everyone know here they can uh, take a deep breath. But, you know, like always, we gotta loot first. No bear. free now. That's everyone here. The temple will have stronger defenses. We can't rush in. Let's see what we're dealing with. <laughs> they left explosives on the ice. We can use that against them. Archers watching the lake. They'll see us coming. Pick us off. Let's bring them to us. How? Fire the signal cannon. Lure them onto the ice, then divide and conquer. Keep watch. I'll draw them out. That will get their attention. Better get back to you. Fuse into this wall here, but it's still working. Right? Another reason why I'd never want to be on the front line. He was about to get kicked by the dimension right there. I don't know if you guys saw that. You know what? It clearly wasn't his time. We'll just let him go. That is a big asshole. So, how's your day going? Frozen. We could climb it. Go over the back wall. Uh, actually, if I remember from the last time I played this through, I believe there's a collectible here. We'll just work you guys through this real fast. Sorry to take your time, but if you're someone going for that platinum, one step in the right direction. All right, so it's not this one. It's definitely this temple off to the side. Forget having a shoulder. Things you, you need to actually get on that little deck, otherwise you're not gonna be able to jump up and reach this. Yeah. For how much they're making us climb up this, there's definitely gonna be something up here. I just don't remember what. There you go. The crooked comma headband. Kind of cool. Not my thing. Teach her own. I'm gonna just stick with the ghost outfit for now. But, uh... I think it's only appropriate we take in the sights since we're right here. We haven't done a, a 
daily sight check in a couple episodes here, so we'll just take in the beauty. I mean, that was beautiful. The snows. Sorry, the snows. The snow blowing, the trees, the breath. About breaking my leg again. Alright, right when you roll up on Jogoku Temple, remember that. You got a headband right on top. Oh, they brought the big boy out. They fall all the same. This dude got so pissed he couldn't hit me. He was just getting his ass beat. He was like, you know what? Forget it. I'm going to get the hostage. Look, he's still over here, man. Look at him screaming. Sit down. We die as slaves. They can't hurt you now. Gotta take a little detour here at the given tree. The gifts keep us going, you know. Similar to the gift of uh, your guys' views, likes, and subscriptions. So I appreciate you uh, gifting those over to me. And hopefully I keep uh, remaining deserving, so. Looks like we need to speak with Yuna, and then we're gonna just kind of segue right back to the next part. No Mongols. Solid walls. I think we'll be safe here. Hey. Your uncle chose his path. And I chose mine. Kotun studied Lord Shimura's tactics. He knows how to break an army of samurai. But he doesn't know how to defend against us. We'll make him hurt. For Taka. For everyone. Okay, we jumped forward just a little bit. I stopped at the merchant there and got this patchwork hat you can see on here, which I think is badass, honestly. Uh, and then we just got this scout mask from the Giving Tree. We're about to start this mission here up, though. We could use the old road from Omi up through Fort Camino Dake. Only problem is it's held by Mongols. We need help to drive them out. I know some hunters camped on Mount Sago. Their leader's named Takashi. Friend of yours? No, but he'll do anything I ask, and his men are good archers. While you're meeting them, I'll slip through your uncle's castle. Meet our friends in Omi. Lead them to strike the fort from the south. I'll attack from the north, with your hunter friends. You think it'll work? Yes. Be careful, you know. You too. Ooh, 
that's gonna be a hike. 1.9 kilometers. Right, well, we'll go ahead and we'll grab some stuff around here. I believe there's an armor in here. Yep. Uh, in the last episode, we talked about upgrading the Sakai clan armor so that we can get the deer antler helmet. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do that here. And then if we have some extra space, we'll go ahead and we'll upgrade the ghost armor too because I like uh, the blacked out version you get when you upgrade it. Yeah, I mean, like, look at that. That's badass. But that's not what we're here for. All right. You get a, you get to increase the damage or melee damage. Moderate increase the health. That gives us the helmet, and then this next one's gonna give us a massive increase the health and a major increase the damage. But then also leave us with the antler helmet, and then hey, we got lucky. We have just enough. This will protect you. So we're able to upgrade the ghost armor. Uh, you need more to make these improvements. Remember that monk. And while that does look pretty cool, I'm just a really big fan of the patchwork hat. I mean, tell me I don't look like Kung Lao from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I mean, this might be one of the more badass uh, combos on the fit here. Now that we do have that done, though, like I said, this is going to be a 1.9, just shy of 2 kilometer hike. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this for you guys. I'll make the adventure, and then I'm going to catch back up with you guys when we get to our location. You're welcome at our campfire, my lord. Are you Takeshi? You know my name? I'm Jin Sakai. You know Sakai. She's alive? Where is she? The Mongols blocked the pass to Omi. I have to open the way and I can't do it alone. Yuna told me you can help. <laughs> Sounds dangerous. I thought you were an expert hunter, leader of the best archers in the prefecture. Is that what Yuna told you? She thinks you care enough to fight. Is she wrong? About me? No. But my people need a reason to risk their lives. It's going to be a cold winter. Why spend it on a mountainside hunting squirrel when you can live in a warm fort? If we can stay till spring, we're in. You have a deal. This won't be like hunting wild boar. Come over here and you'll see. Mongol archers guard the gate. Patrols ride in and out all day. If we can get in from this side, Yuna and the rest of my friends will hit them from the south. Yuna will be there? All right. The fort was built around the cliffs. We can use them to get inside. Woodcutter camp. Supplied lumber to the fort. Haven't seen anyone there since the Mongols showed up. How good are you at climbing? Better than average. Okay. Don't let the intrusive thoughts win. He's looking at a broken leg right there. You're not no boo. So distraught, I'm just gonna get off my horse altogether. Crane Mountain Shrine. Do we have a shrine nearby? I'm gonna guess that's what this is. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this, guys. 
Uh, <laughs> that was a great start. I apologize. I don't know what I was doing there. I guess I thought I could have made it to that uh, little grapple hook. I was mistaken. All right. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to knock out this shrine real quick. I'll timestamp the end of this shrine. So if you don't want to watch this, um, I believe we're just shy of a kilometer out. So probably after I finish this shrine, I'll go ahead and I'll cut it uh, to our next location. And I'll timestamp that to start up and resume of that. But in the meantime, uh, just get a running start here. They know me so well. Mm. Yeah, see, that's what I figured. Yeah, I'm a dumbass. I apologize, guys. Uh... We went the wrong way. I needed to just turn around instead of dropping off that ledge there. And then just come back to the left here. So. Yeah. Because Broken Bridge. Well, I'm pretty sure, yeah, we got to get all the way across. So, yeah. Yeah, I just turned around and got myself completely mixed up here. So, Alright, we'll go this way. did it again <laughs> I don't know what that was about I mean that's where I'm supposed to go oh yeah you see now they got me all nervous yeah it's got to be this way it like literally magnetized me to the wood there in the branch just completely yeeted me over it the last time no biggie Long way down. All right. Obviously, if you've kept up with the series up at this point, you're probably in a similar location, or you already understand that you needed to unlock the grappling hook. Just want to give a fresh reminder on that. Uh, I mentioned earlier in the series, you don't. If you haven't done the main story and you're trying to go around just explore everything, beauty. Uh, avoid trying to do the shrines because a lot of them they're going to need the grappling hook and if you haven't gotten to that point in the main story you cannot complete them so keep that in mind uh, we'll go ahead and we'll pay our respects and then we will get back to our main task at hand and meet up with the archer friends That's a pretty cool charm. You know what? Why not? We'll go ahead and clip it. Alright. If you haven't done any of the shrines up to this point, though, uh, the cool thing is even though you guys spend all that time coming up, they're usually going to have a fast travel down to the bottom option. Yep, there we go. Okay, cool. So we'll go ahead and we'll fast forward to the next spot and I will catch up with you guys there. All right. About 800 uh, meters out from where we just were previously. You're going to roll up on these guys. These little degenerates. You and us got some interesting oh. Let's plan our tech. You can see inside from over here. We'll get on that roof. 
draw the high ground. <laughs> you sound like Yuna. She was a good teacher. <laughs> Archers on that ridge will have a good view of the courtyard. And plenty of targets. The bulk of our force should go there. You men with me. Everyone else, get to the ridge. If the enemy sees me, take them down. Understood. Good luck. I'm going to take a guess that they probably want us to stay a little stealthy here. I feel like we've done enough stealth this episode, so... We'll go quiet initially, and then I'm probably just going to go... Katana blazing at that point. Nice shots, guys. My arch nemesis, the bear, down there. through the ladder. I mean, what is our goal here? I guess we're not supposed to be stealthy. I'm assuming we're just going to have to take out the Mongols. I'm going to see if I can shoot this uh, barricade open real fast, though. Nope. I hit the Mongol on the other side altogether. Whatever, let's go. Like I said, we're going Katana Blazing. Oh! Oh! I might have regret this. Oh! Hold up now! Hold on. Wait up. Guys, you gonna shoot at these people? Trying to hit him in the wind stance. And I'm a dumb. I still didn't switch out of the moon stance. What am I doing? No, let me pick up. I'm all disoriented. So at that point, I was just committed to trying to get him a high kick. But Okay, and that's why knowing your stance is so important. I, I probably could have cut that time in a fourth of what it was. I literally kept complaining about not being in the moon stance and just continued not to switch. So, note to self, don't be like me. What is this? What was going on right there? He was offering up a sword to me or something. <laughs> you guys see these Mongols just chilling here? What's up, bro? Hey. Hey, sir. Who, who are we looking for? We hunt somebody? <laughs> And a whiff, and a whiff, and a whiff.
What sort of animals would do this? The Mongol kind. The woodcutters must have resisted them. Let's kill every bastard in this fort. Another patrol. We'll ambush them when they come through. Hide. You heard him. Move. Open fire on my signal. Attack! In a whiff. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Right past my earlobe. I have to be quicker than that. Head to clear a path. He couldn't spare one samurai to come with you. I told him you'd help me. Yeah, no way I'm divulging the truth to these guys. They definitely seem like bandits. <laughs> This game really does a good job of uh, showcasing where you can go off in the distance. It's really cool to see. When you compare it to old games like the games I grew up with, a lot of the halos, a lot of the time spent around a map was very linear and things you could see off in the distance weren't actually attainable. Unless you could glitch and super jump. Different times. If they spot you, we can hit them with arrows. Charge across or sneak over. Either way, it'll be risky. We'll follow your lead, Lord Sakai. Get your people ready to move. Another time we get to use our handy dandy grappler. Oh nice, we just got a upgrade for the half bow. Don't know what just happened there. Oh, I'm definitely mounting the watcher. Look out below! There they are. They brought some friends from Yerikawa. I mean, honestly, in this episode alone, I've tried to break my leg at least three or four times. You finally got 
here. Don't get too close. They'll see me. Stay safe, Kenji. I'm trying. Get away. You should have waited for us to open the gate. What's that guy? Just in time. Keep swinging, Norio. Again, I won't, uh, I won't chase after those guys run away. Just the ones here. Just common respect, you know. That was close. The fort is ours, my lord. Is everyone all right? Never better. All things considered. Good to see you, Lord Sakai. Uh, um, is it this cold everywhere up here? You'll get used to it. Take any supplies we need, and prepare to ride for Jogaku. So, you and Takeshi... That was my old life. He and his people are more than hunters, aren't they? Depends on how you look at it. I told them they can stay and hold the pass for us. But I don't want bandits making trouble for innocent people fleeing the Mongols. He knows what I'd do to him if they tried. I think he's been looking forward to seeing you. He's seen me. We can go now. Let's get everyone to Jokaku. We'll plan our final attack from there. It's time for the Khan to die. Hey guys, we had another, uh, even though stealthy, pretty action-packed episode here. Like always, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please consider leaving a like down below. Think about subscribing to keep up with the series. Let me know what you guys liked below, what you didn't like. And I will catch back up with you guys in part 13.